Is Windows Defender good enough in 2025? Or are there better, similar options to consider? If you're a Windows user like me, this video is your moment of truth. I'll dive into Windows Defender's features, protection, efficiency, and real-world usability, while comparing it to other free and paid antivirus options to help you decide if it's good enough for 2025. Let's dive right in. First, let's have a real quick look at its origin. Windows Defender has an interesting story. It started as an anti-spyware tool for Windows XP and server 2003, mainly to combat basic spyware. With Windows 8, Microsoft upgraded it to a full antivirus program, replacing Microsoft's Security Essentials, which was the free antivirus for older Windows versions. Then came Windows 10, where Windows Defender became part of Windows Security, a comprehensive suite offering a firewall, performance monitoring, and real-time protection. Today, it's Microsoft's built-in solution for keeping Windows PCs secure. That said, how does Windows Defender perform in real-world use in 2020? Well, let's take a look at its recent results from independent testing labs and, of course, my personal testing as well. Reputable independent testing labs like AV Test and AV Comparatives have rated Windows Defender as a top-tier antivirus solution, consistently scoring high in protection, performance, and usability categories. However, compared to some competitors, it occasionally struggles with detection rates and false positives. Its recent malware detection tests on AV Comparatives showed it scored 68.8% in offline detection and 83.2% in online detection, but an impressive 99.84% in online protection rate and eight false alarms. When conducting my personal testing of its offline detection rates, I planted two malware files on my PC. During a quick scan, it failed to detect either threat, which was disappointing. However, the full scan successfully identified the malware, though it couldn't resolve the issue without manual removal. On the bright side, it's real-time protection proved impressive. It immediately detected and blocked the malware from accessing my PC, which explains its strong performance in online protection tests. Considering it's free, lightweight structure, its detection rates are still better than other free antivirus programs like Panda and Quick Heal. But how does Windows Defender compare to free antivirus options? Let's find out. First, it's fully integrated into Windows, runs efficiently, and uses less CPU during routine tasks than heavier options like Avast and AVG. It also employs both signature-based and heuristics detection to guard against threats. Signature-based detection works like a wanted list, comparing files to Microsoft's database of known threats and blocking anything that matches. Heuristics, on the other hand, observes program behavior. If something acts suspiciously, like accessing sensitive files or operating secretly, Windows Defender flags it, even if it's unfamiliar. This combination effectively tackles both known and emerging threats. Windows Defender also benefits from regular security updates, ensuring protection against the latest risks. However, for maximum security, pairing it with additional protective measures is still a smart choice. Besides providing virus and threat protection, Windows Defender provides firewall and network protection. It is the most intuitive firewall for non-tech users with well-defined network protection types. Of course, the feature doesn't come with free AVs. It also includes an app and browser control for added app protection and online security. Plus, it provides virtualization-based security and secure boot, preventing malicious software from loading during system startup. Other features worth mentioning include device performance and health report, parental control, and protection history. Many of these features are often unavailable in some free antivirus programs, making it clear that Windows Defender is a solid choice for free antivirus software. But how does Windows Defender compare to premium antivirus software? By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please give it a like because it supports the channel and keeps content like this coming. It's no surprise that premium antivirus includes features that Windows Defender simply doesn't offer. For starters, Windows Defender lacks a VPN, a common inclusion in most premium options. It also misses out on essentials like a password manager, identity theft protection, and privacy tools such as webcam or audio protection, features you'll find in top tier options like Bitdefender. It also doesn't include system optimization tools such as file cleanup, PC optimization, or startup management, which are staples in many premium antivirus suites. Windows Defender also falls short when it comes to customer support. Microsoft provides only limited assistance with fewer communication options, while premium antivirus services usually offer 24-7 live chat and phone support for a better user experience. Lastly, although Windows Defender now extends basic protection to macOS, Android, and iOS, it's far from the robust 
platform-specific protection that premium antivirus solutions deliver across multiple devices. Despite these shortcomings, Windows Defender still excels at providing basic built-in security. However, if you are a Windows user looking for advanced protection, extra features, and better cross-platform support, consider premium antivirus options. If you're looking to go premium with total protection, I recommend Bitdefender, which is my number one AV. It has a lineup of features that check all of the boxes for PC protection. Also, Windows Defender complements third-party antivirus solutions. So, for example, when a third-party antivirus is installed, Defender disables itself to allow the other software to take over. If you're interested in Bitdefender and want to save some money, check the link in the description for up to 60% off. Overall, Windows Defender shines as a free, efficient antivirus option that covers the basics well. It's perfect for everyday users who need reliable, no frills protection without extra cost. That said, it lacks some of the advanced features you'll find in premium antivirus programs like VPNs, password managers, or identity theft protection. Plus, it's offline detection isn't as robust. That wraps up this video. Check out our roundup of the best antivirus providers or this video about the best VPNs. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.